ओम विष्णुपाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति विकास स्वामी नितिनामिने नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नितिनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणि निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणी जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवाषादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे हुस शंगी हरे कृष्ण प्रभु हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण एवरी वन सो टूडे विल कंटिन्यू अवर वीकली भगवद गीता डिस्कशन सो मी शेयर माइ स्क्रीन <coughs> okay so we will continue with uh, bhagavad gita chapter 12 shloka number 10 so i hope everyone can see my screen we are in uh, chapter 12 entitled bhakti yoga <coughs> so i will uh, recite the shloka first abhyase pya samrto si मत्कर्म परमो भव मटर्थम अर्मा कूर्व सिद्धि अवप्स्यसी अभ्यासे असमर्थसी मत्कर्म परमो भव मटर्थम अर्मा कूर्व सिद्धि अवप्स्यसी अभ्यासे असमर्थसी मत्कर्म परमो भव मदर्थम अर्मा कूर्व सिद्धि अवप्स्यसी एनी वन वुड लाइक टू ट्राइ मे बी आई कैन ट्राई प्रभु यस प्लीज प्रभु अभ्यसेमर्थसी मत्कर्म परमो भव मदर्थम अर्मा कूर्व सिद्धि अवप्स्यसी वेरी नाइस एनी वन एल्स मातजी वेंकटेश प्रभु लाइक टू ट्राई अभ्यासी असमर्थसी मदर्म परमो भव मदर्थम अर्मा कूर्व सिद्धि अवप्यसी Thank you, Prabhu. Right. So, anyone else? Harisha Prabhu. Yes, please. Abhyase abhyasamartosi mat karma paramo bhava mat artham api karmani kuran sittim avapyasi. Yes. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. So, abhyase. abhyase means in practice api even if asamrta anable asi you are mat karma my work parama dedicated to bhava become madartam for my sake api even karmani work kurvan performing siddhim perfection avapsyasi you will achieve translation if you cannot practice the regulations of bhakti yoga then just try to work for me because by working for me you will come to the perfect stage for what okay maybe someone can help me to read who can read it loud and clear anyone any volunteer Okay, Prabhu. Yes, please, Prabhu. Okay, Prabhu. Yeah. 
one who is not able to even practice the regulative principles of bhakti yoga under the guidance of a spiritual master can still be drawn to this perfectional state by working for the Supreme Lord. How to do this work has already been explained in the 55th verse of the 11th chapter. One should be sympathetic, sympathetic to the propagation of Krishna consciousness. There are many devotees who are engaged in the propagation of Krishna consciousness and they require help. So even if one cannot directly practice the regulative principles of bhakti yoga, he can try to help such work. Every endeavor, every endeavor requires land, capital, organization and labor. Just as in business, one requires a place to stay, some capital to use, some labor and some organization to expand. So the same is required in the service of Krishna. The only difference is that in materialism, one works for sense gratification. The same work, however, can be performed for the satisfaction of Krishna, and that is spiritual activity. If one has sufficient money, he can help in building an office or temple for, the propagate, for propagating Krishna consciousness, or he can help with publications. The, there are various fields of activity and one should be interested in such activities. If one cannot sacrifice the result of his activities, the same person can still sacrifice some percentage to propagate Krishna consciousness. This voluntary service to the cause of Krishna consciousness will help one to rise to a higher state of love for God, whereupon one become, becomes perfect. Hare Krishna. Yes, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Okay, so now this verse, in this verse, uh, you know, Krishna is telling you, if you cannot practice the regulation of Bhakti Yoga, then just try to work for me. Then by working for me, you'll come to the perfect state. Perfect means Siddhi. Siddhi means perfect. <laughs> okay, so why Krishna is speaking this? You must go back to the previous verse. <coughs> Okay, if you look into the previous verse, okay, yes, we have an overview of this chapter 12. Since many of, many of you all, uh, you know, some of you all, uh, you know, just entered, you know, for maybe first time or second time. So, let me just give you the flow of what is happening in chapter 12 of uh, Bhagavad Gita. And I highly recommend everyone to join regularly because it is only once a week. Right, so we should actually allocate time hmm, uh, for Krishna. Hmm? So hearing about Krishna, at least once a week. Okay, only one hour. I'm not going to speak more than that. You know, sometimes one hour, fifteen minutes. Yeah, one hour to one hour, fifteen minutes. Yeah. So only that we are requesting. Okay. So chapter twelve is entitled Bhakti Yoga. So Prabhupada is given uh, the translation here: devotional service. Okay, so let me just ask, uh, you know, what is bhakti? What do you understand by bhakti? Of course, we have discussed this very elaborately in our previous, you know, last week's, previous week's discussion. You know, we have analyzed bhakti very detailly. So, maybe some of you have missed it, but no problem. You can still listen to the rec recording is there. So, now let's just have some, you know, a quick uh, recap. Okay. So maybe I want to hear from your side. What is bhakti? Right? So in this way, we can understand. Huh? What, is your, uh, huh? what is your understanding on bhakti? What is your you know, thoughts? Okay. So maybe I can ask Harishwaran Prabhu. So uh, what is the definition of bhakti in your, you know, from whatever you have understood? Bhakti, the translation in English would be devotion. Yes. What is devotion? Devotion. Devotion is it's more of mm. how can I say you are it's, I would say love for someone mm. and you show it through your actions. So show it through your what? Actions. 
actions okay mm. yeah i mean i wouldn't say action only but in uh, true speaking and mm. uh, action mm. and mm. every way that you can interact with another person so you can show it that's what we call as bhakti and mm. yeah that's what i understand in a general sense okay prabhu thank you thank you so your key point here is bhakti means love service okay that is the you know input from uh, prabhu harishwar and prabhu so okay anyone else sankirtana mata ji anything from your side uh bhakti is um is a service that we have to show krishna prabhu mm. yeah is something we do to krishna service a service sir. okay fair enough uh vengesh prabhu anything from your side you like to try but, yes uh bhakti is like love and service to krishna love love uh maybe we want to hear from uh, arasi mata ji sir is it bhakti is independent love uh hmm. to purify krishna okay independent love to purify who to krishna purify... our our sincere love to krishna to to revive to purify our love, love towards, to, krishna. towards krishna okay okay fair enough mata ji thank you thank you sir Okay. So, a uh, awake love to Krishna. Awaken the love. Love. Okay, nice, nice. So, thank you. So we have heard we have uh, heard from all of you all the meaning of bhakti. So now, let's see what Rupa Goswami uh, says about it. Uh, so, yes, you all are not wrong. But we want to know what is the exact shastrical definition. Right. So here we can see that many of you all are practicing Krishna consciousness, you know, for many years, isn't it? Uh, I can see that uh, some of you all are born devotees, very fortunate, right? Born devotees, very fortunate, and some of you all are also taking up Krishna consciousness very seriously, right? So, yeah, very nice. So this is a very basic, uh, fundamental knowledge. Uh, so first of all you must understand bhakti is not cheap uh, so sometimes the problem is we think bhakti is something cheap you know so something easy something is very light no that is why uh, you know it might appear to be something like very cheap sometimes superficially right uh, you know but we must hear from the acharyas okay what is the definition of bhakti So to understand this, you have to uh, read Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu. Okay, Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu is a nectar of devotion, uh, which is a compilation uh, from Rupa Goswami. So who is Rupa Goswami? Rupa Goswami is the uh, Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swa Padantikam. This is Rupa Goswami. Uh, he is Chaitanya's mind. So whatever Chaitanya Prabhu's desire, uh, Chaitanya is not different than Krishna. So what is the desire of Krishna, the mind of Krishna? That is the personification, which is Rupa Goswami. So the best person we can uh, understand bhakti from, right? So this is the definition from him. Okay, let's see. i will read the shloka okay i am repeating this i have discussed this previously previously also so it's good to repeat okay so remember this always next time when someone ask you what is bhakti is must must be you must know this okay and you must understand this okay so this is very basic anya bilashita shunyam jnana karma de anavrutam आनुकूल्यन कृष्णाशील भक्तिरुत्तम सो 
Rupa Goswami is defining bhakti. Okay, first is using the word Anya Bila Shita Shunyam. So, what is meaning Shunyam? Shunyam means, you know, zero. Shunyam na zero. Pujyam. So, means nil, no. What is no? Abilash. Abilashita. Abilashita. Abilasha means desire. Material desire. Specifically, Abilashita. Anya means self. So, Anya Abilashita Shunya means, the translation is, without desires other than those for the service of Lord Krishna, or without material desires, <coughs> such as for those for meat eating, illicit sex, gambling, and addiction to in intoxicants. You see? So, the first principle of Bhakti is, Anya Abilashita Shunya. Arina, now we, when we approach Krishna, not for something for our gain, for our benefit, uh, that is not uh, pure bhakti, that is mishra bhakti, mixed bhakti. Okay, so the, what is the meaning pure bhakti means? For no reason, only out of sincere love, you approach Krishna. So you must have that natural desire to serve Krishna. So, that is the meaning here. It is not that without any desire. We must have desire. But, what desire? To serve Krishna. Anything favorable to Krishna. That desire is needed. So, not material desire. So, when we are speaking about without material desire, means including the four regulatory principles we must be following. No meat eating, no illicit sex, no gambling, and no intoxicant. So, this is the first. Anya Bilashita Shunyam. Selfless. Selfless love. Selfless desire without any personal motivation to serve Krishna. <laughs> okay, next. Jnana karma di anavritam. Ah, very important. Next, when you are performing devotional service, bhakti to Krishna, it must not contaminate, it must not contaminate it by what? What jnana? Jnana yam is knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge which is offensive towards the devotional service. What is the meaning of knowledge offensive towards devotional service? Uh, the foremost thing is what? The Maya Vadi's understanding. What is Maya Vadi's understanding? They think that they can become God. The Advaita philosophy, I am repeating this always, the monistic philosophy, it is very offensive, you know, to say that I can become one with God, I can become emerged with God, that means you are rascal, because you want to become God, right, so that is a very offensive mentality, the desire to lot over the supreme personality of God, and you want to become God. Right? So, that type of knowledge must be destroyed first, must be annihilated. So, and another, another problem with this Maya Vadi understanding is that, uh, the understanding is that God has no form. Krishna is formless. Brahman, Brahma Jodi. Yeah, that is also a biggest mistake. It's a biggest offense. Uh, because Prabhupada says, Anyone who thinks that God has no form, he is actually demon, demonic. Right? Because you can see uh, Ravana, Hiranya Kashipu, Hiranya Aksha. Uh, they, they all want to become God, isn't it? They all want, want to become Krishna. They want to go to the position of Krishna. So that is why Krishna smashed them and they actually merged into Brahman. So this is the destination of people who want to merge with Brahman. They will get the same result like Hiranyakashipu. They will go back to Brahman. And Brahman is hellish. For devotees, Brahman merging into Brahma Jodhi is hellish. Because it is nothing there. Can you imagine? You are in the light. You become light. One with light. It is a torturing situation. You are inactive. You cannot do any service. You cannot desire. You cannot will. You cannot do anything. You cannot move. You are freezed. You are just becoming the atoms, particles of light. Doesn't make sense. You know, that is why this is the most, you know, 
helly situation devotee said because you cannot serve krishna you cannot think of krishna you cannot do anything so after some time you will fall down you will take another birth so this is the destination of mayavadis so you must understand that 90% of our followers of sanatana dharma they are under this understanding of mayavadam they think that everything is one everything is same not everything is same okay uh, if you want to drive uh, from ipo to kl is one highway if you want to go to sungai patani another highway how can you say everything is same everything leads to the same destination bogus illogical right so if you worship krishna you will come to krishna if you worship the demigods you go to the demigods if you worship the ghost if you worship the pisachas you will go to them and if you become atheistic then you you get a demonic body you get animal body because animals are atheistic they don't inquire about krishna they don't inquire atato brahma jignasha so like that krishna is very merciful he will give you whatever you want whatever you will whatever you are doing according to your consciousness right so yeah there is one uh, nice conversation huh? someone asked prabhupad prabhupad i cannot give up meat eating you know i am i am addicted to meat eating you know so prabhupad said no problem krishna is very merciful next life you will get a tiger body you will get a crocodile body so that you don't worry about eating because you can eat fresh meat fresh meat so there's no need for you slaughter the meat go to the supermarket have to frozen and then you must buy it you must wear the mask you know very smelly then you have to come then you have to put the uh, what we call that the tapong kunyet tapong babas chili powder uh, and then you you cover the smell and then you use the some black pepper then only you cook uh, so that you can enjoy meat in a very difficult way so human body are not meant to enjoy meat so proper say no problem you will get a crocodile body or you will get a lion body or you will get any body which will enjoy meat eating so this is krishna he will give whatever body you want according to your consciousness right so that is why you must understand you see immediately rupa goswami is smashing this maya with the philosophy this is our mood we can speak about bhakti we can say everything but then we don't know what is maya vadam we don't we are supporting maya vadam you know what is the meaning of supporting maya vadam first of all you must know what is maya vadam not everything is one right so we must understand the different that krishna is the only supreme personality of godhead he is the parama purusha he is the swayam bhagavan this is the knowledge we need uh, not that uh, on sunday you go to iskon on saturday you go to sai baba on monday you go to some demigod temples that is not bhakti a very important point so this is a rupa goswami's instruction here so jnana so all these uh, speculative knowledge that's why the the meaning is speculative knowledge uh, speculative means uh, god has no form you want to become god this is the speculative knowledge okay you must first of all throw that okay jnana karma what is karma fruit of activity what is fruit of activity fruit fruit means what something we want to enjoy right so we are doing an activity to enjoy the result this is the meaning of fruitive activity prabhupad loves this word he always uses this word fruitive activity in his purports so you must understand the meaning of fruitive activity fruitive activity means the activity you do for your sense gratification you want to enjoy right so what do you do when you want to enjoy you you work hard for it you work hard so what do you do you work every day over time 8 hours a day you collect money then you buy something for yourself you reward self reward this is actually fruit of activity you are at you are attached to you to your body not to you because you are the soul but you are under illusion that you are the body and you working for your body like animal so shastra is telling dvipada pashu you are working you know you are accumulating wealth accumulating all these things uh, you, you, you are forgetting that one day uh, very soon uh, yamatudas is going to come and t- pluck away hmm, pluck away your soul from the body so this is fruitive activity so very dangerous uh, 
So sense gratification. So first of all, you must free from that. So what is the meaning of this? Because fruitive activity means there are also something called karma kanda. What is karma kanda? The worship of demigods. The worship of certain demigods to get reward. Just like if I want to get some money, I worship Kubera. Let's say if you want to get some power, I worship Lord Shiva. Let's say if you want to get something, I worship Lord Muruga. Right? So we can see during Taipusam, millions of people, they go, they carry the Palakudam and Kavadi to please Lord Muruga. Right? So ultimately, do you think they want to please Lord Muruga? Maybe some of them, but not all. Majority of them want to please themselves. This is true effectivity because they are taking the Palakudam just to fulfill their material desire. After the end of Taipusam 12 a.m., they will sit in the Ramli burger shop and will be whacking chicken burger. Correct or not? Then when uh, Taipusam is finished, you go out to the Chinakara shop and you will have a pork soup there. Wonton me. Isn't it? So, this is... Just one minute. So, this is the type of fruitive activities. This is the type of fruitive activities mentioned by Rupa Goswami. Okay. Put it in la. So, Bhakti na madhe na anya bila shita shunyam. No any personal personal motivated desire. Okay, to serve Krishna. No material desire. And then, jnana. Jnana means. No any speculative knowledge, Maya Vadam. Okay. <coughs> Hare Krishna Prabhu, I am in the discussion. Please join Haribol. So sorry. So uh jnana means speculative desire. Okay. Uh, sorry, speculative knowledge, Maya Vadam. Karma means what? Karma means sense edification. You're working for your sense edification. Also, the worship of demigods for your sense. Fulfilling your sen, uh, material desire. This is karma. Karma adi. Anavritam. And what is the meaning adi here? By artificially practicing detachment. By the mechanical process of yoga. By studying the Sankhya philosophy. Right. So you also must be detached on all this speculative process. Where you artificially detach, detach something. By mechanically practice yoga. What is the meaning? What is the meaning mechanically practice yoga? What is the meaning of yoga? Yoga means to link, to connect. That is the meaning of yoga. So the problem is now many yoga studios are mushrooming. Right? But everything is based on the principles of Mayavada. They will have all, they'll have all pictures on the altar. If you go to the you know, one famous, there's now these famous yoga schools is coming all way, everywhere in Malaysia. I know, in, I don't know, I mean, you should know what I meant. It's a very famous yoga school. Very famous. Mushrooming everywhere. Opening up branches. So when you see, every, you know, in the altar, what they have? All the demigods. Even they have Sai Baba, Sedi Baba, all bogus fellows will be sitting there. And they'll put Krishna also there. So, and then what they will do? Uh, yoga means simply, they will... They won't even, you see, yoga means Krishna is speaking in chapter 6. Yama Niyama. First, Yama Niyama means you must follow the do's and don'ts. Regulative principle must be followed. No meat eating, no illicit sex, no gambling, no intoxicants. This must be followed first to practice yoga. Ashtanga yoga. So, they don't do that. You can do whatever you want, but you can just join, pay the fees, and then they sit you at asanam. Asanam and pranayama. And dhyana. So they are meditating. So when we ask whom to meditate, according to Shastra, we should meditate on the form of Vishnu. Vishnu is a super soul in everyone's heart. So that is a person, that is a form you should worship. But for them, no problem. You can worship any form. Even you can uh, worship uh, the form of light. Or you can, you can worship yourself, no problem. They say that. Because everything is the same. Okay, so this is the problem. So when you do that mechanical practice of yoga, you cannot understand Krishna. You cannot get connected to Krishna. You cannot get bhakti. 
and this mechanical yoga was rejected by Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 6. So, huh? so anavrittam. So, first of all, you must not be covered by all these things. Jnana karmadi anavrittam. Huh? And then, anukulyena krishna anusilanam. Favorable. Anukulyena means favorable. So, the devotee must constantly serve Krishna favorably. So, whatever is favorable to Krishna consciousness, like right now we are listening to Bhagavad Gita, that is Krishna Anusiranam, favorable. We are attending temple program, Krishna Anusiranam, favorable. We are associating with devotee, Krishna Anusiranam, favorable. We are chanting, Krishna Anusiranam, favorable. We are listening to Prabhupada lecture. So, all these things, we are taking only prasadam. We are trying our best to follow the four regulative principles for the new ones. You know, like Prabhu have given up meat eating. Prabhu have trying uh, trying to, you know, follow the principle. This is very good. This is Krishna Anu Silanam. Whatever is favorable to Bhakti, we should cultivate. So this is Bhakti Ruttamam. This is the first class devotional service. So, to put in words, when first class devotional service develops, one must devoid of all material desire. Huh? First of all, Anya Bila Shita Sunyam. No material desire. Okay. Uh, next, it's because some people they come to Krishna consciousness, they have material desire. That is not wrong. For the new people, for the beginners, that is not wrong. Because it is better you approach Krishna rather than anyone else. Because there are some people also approaching uh, bogus fellas, bogus gurus. Or some are approaching even the demigods. So instead of approaching them, if you approach Krishna, that is very good. But you must progressively get the knowledge and improve your service. So, but the problem is, even though we know all these things, there are some people who are still practicing bhakti just for the sake of material desire, just for the sake of name, fame. There are people like that. Remember? For the name of fame and name. So this is, uh, you know, called bhakti in the mode of ignorance, bhakti in the mode of patience. So Kapila Dev, uh, Kapila Dev instructing this to Devahuti. Hmm? So uh, bhakti in the mode of ignorance means you are performing bhakti for your own name, fame, for some position. So watch out for that. When you, when you play the mridanga and you're singing, everyone is seeing you and you, you're getting some name and fame. Bhakti in the mode of patience. What are you are singing? You are singing for Krishna. So when you are becoming a leader in some some management, so you must understand you are serving Krishna temple, not that for name and fame. So this is what Rupa Goswami is telling: devoid of material desire. Remember, you can you can be in Iskon temple, you can be in the temple, but same time you have all this desire. So. That is why you must be very careful. So that is a very important word. Devoid of all material desire. Right? So not simply you practice bhakti for the showmanship. So now we, people are doing that. People are doing bhakti for showmanship. Not everyone, but many. You are performing, uh, they are performing street sankirtan. Uh, congregational chanting of the holy name. To please Krishna. To hear the name of the Lord. Not that you go there, you want to attract other people. You want to attract the, you know, for the Matajis especially, not to attract the Prabhus. Hmm? You are wearing all kind of things just to attract. That is not the mood. You know, but but you say, oh, I want to attract Krishna. I want to look good to Krishna. That is okay. But you are in public. So how should you portray yourself? Isn't it? We are not, we are not, we must not portray ourselves. Huh? As though like, you know, you are jumping here and there for the Matajis. Your physiologically, your body is different. And everyone will be looking. And you are setting the bad example. Oh, this is how Hare Krishna people, this is how Hare Krishna Mataji is doing. Jumping, uh, wearing, uh, you know, indecent clothing and all these things. You know what I mean? This is happening. So this is the instruction of Rupa Goswami, not I am telling. That's why Rupa Goswami is telling, first you want to uh, perform devotional service, first class devotional service. You must devoid of all material desire. This is the meaning. Not that you just read material desire, but you don't know what is the meaning of material desire. There's so much of elaboration from the material desire. Right? So we can test ourselves. What is the level of our bhakti? Right? 
so this is the meaning so devoid of all material desire knowledge obtained by monastic philosophy and fruitive action and the devotee must constantly serve krishna favorably as krishna's desire so you must follow the instruction of krishna not that you practice bhakti according to your understanding to your speculation right sela pera vandu avanga ishtapadi seivaanga that is why rupa goswami again says bhakti means must follow shastra huh? purana narada pancharatrika all these vidhis are there right otherwise it is simply nuisance disturbance to the society so you can you see not we can speak hours for on this definition of bhakti okay so another important point to remember prabhu and mata ji bhakti means is exclusive for krishna exclusive for krishna not that for anyone uh, so it is not even for demigods okay prabhu because just now uh, you you told generally that uh, you know love someone so bhakti is not for someone is only for krishna exclusive that is important point rupa goswami is making exclusive for krishna uh, so okay let's go back to our purport <coughs> so we are recapping so actually we are recapping the chapter 12 bhakti yoga so now this is devotional service now clear huh? so devotional service means anyabilashita shunyam jnana karma adi anavrutam anukulyena krishna anusilanam bhakti ruttamam so unmotivated selfless desire huh? only no material desire only the desire to serve krishna okay without contaminated by monastic understanding advaita understanding bogus understanding no okay without any uh, sense gratification to please our senses any karma kanda activity no okay and no any bogus understanding also huh? you know all these uh, you know doing some mechanical yoga uh, doing this 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 and that so all this you must give up then you perform favorable to krishna's instruction according to shastra this is bhakti so this is the chapter devotional service so you see from chapter 1 from the text 1 immediately arjuna is asking a very important question here right please read the question prabhu harishwaran prabhu uh, text 1 <laughs> arjuna inquired which are considered to be more perfect those who are always properly engaged in your devotional service or those who worship the impersonal brahman the unmanifested immediately on the first uh, shloka of devotional service what arjuna is meshing what arjuna is asking he want to clear that uh, which is the best whether the brahman the formless understanding or the personal understanding immediately arjuna is asking you know just to clear the confusion because you know why in the chapter 11 krishna portrays his universal form actually universal form is not the highest understanding and then krishna reverted to the two handed form so therefore now you know arjuna is stressing the point which is the highest <coughs> so he is asking krishna he knows the answer but he is asking krishna for the benefit of us okay and you see what krishna says next prabhu read the supreme personality of god he say those who fix their minds on my personal form and are always engaged in worship worshiping me with greed and transcendental faith are considered by me to be the most perfect ah so what is the what is the answer from bhagavan sri bhagavan uvacha what krishna is telling you oh oh everything is same actually as what you desire you can worship the formless of form both are okay did krishna say like that apdi sonnara கிடையாது இப்போ அப்படி தானே சொல்கிறாங்க உங்கள் இஷ்டம்ப்பா நீங்கள் ரூபம் முழுதும் செய்யலாம் ரூபம் இல்லாததும் செய்யலாம் ரெண்டுமே தப்பு கிடையாது திஸ் இஸ் அவர் ஸ்பெக்குலேஷன் பட் வாட் கிருஷ்ணா இஸ் கிளியர்லி டெலிங் யூ தோஸ் ஹூ ஃபிக்ஸ் யர் மைண்ட் ஒன் மை பர்சனல் ஃபார்ம் ஐ ஆல்வேஸ் எங்கேஜ் இன் வர்ஷிப்பிங் மீ தே ஆர் த பர்ஃபெக்ட் கிருஷ்ணா இஸ் யூசிங் த வேர்ட் வாட் மோஸ்ட் பர்ஃபெக்ட் ஸோ அப்படின்னா வித்தியாசம் இருக்கா வித்தியாசம் இருக்கு ஓகே ஓகே அண்ட் லைக் தட் ஸோ ஓகே வி வில் கோ வெரி ஃபாஸ்ட் ஓகே நான் வெரி திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ப்ளீஸ் ரீட் தேக்ஸ் நம்பர் ஃபைவ் பிரபு
for those whose mind minds are attached to the unmanifested impersonal feature of the supreme advancement is very troublesome to make progress in that discipline is always difficult for those who are embodied yeah bhai gana so what is the meaning here for those who minds are attracted to this brahma jyoti krishna is telling what it's okay you can do that no immediately krishna is rejecting and telling them they are foolish they are, because advancement is what very very troublesome ஏய் நீ உருப்பட மாட்டடா அதான் சொல்றாரு நீ உருப்பட மாட்டடா நீ இந்த மாதிரி எல்லாம் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் வச்சிருந்தா நீ உருப்பட மாட்ட நீ என்கிட்ட வர முடியாது இதுதான் அர்த்தம் நீ வந்து சிஸ்ஸாட் ஆயிருவ சிஸ்ஸாட் ஆயிருவ ஏன்னா பிரம்ம ஜோதின்னு போனா என்ன அது எல்லாமே ஒண்ணு நீ கடவுளாகலாம் நீ இவன இவங்களை வழிபட்டா என்ன அவங்கள வழிபட்டா என்ன அதான் நீ அவன் அவன் கோயிலுக்கு போனா யாரு கோயில் ஒரு கோயில் இருக்கு என்ன செய்வானுங்க அவங்க எல்லாமே வச்சிருப்பான் ஆஹ் இயேசுநாதர் வச்சிருப்பாங்க அந்த அல்லா வச்சிருப்பாங்க எல்லாமே வச்சிருப்பாங்க கிருஷ்ணர் வச்சிருப்பாங்க புத்தரை வச்சிருப்பாங்க அப்புறம் அவன் ஃபோட்டோ மட்டும் நடுவில் வச்சிருப்பாங்க சரிங்களா அது மாதிரி ஒரு அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கு வச்சு பண்றாங்க இதுதான் இதுதான் கிருஷ்ணர் சொல்றாரு இஸ் வெரி ட்ராபல்சம் அது யோசிக்க மாட்டாங்க ஆளுங்க ஸோ இஸ் ஹேவி ஐம் ரிப்பீட்டிங் கிருஷ்ணாஸ் வேர்ட் ஸோ மேக் ஷூர் யூ பி கேர்ஃபுல் வின் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் சேம் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் சேம் நாட் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் நாட் சேம் Okay. So, next Prabhu, continue. But those who worship me, giving up all their activities unto me, and being devoted to me without deviation, engaged in devotional service and always meditating upon me, having fixed their mind upon me, O son of Prata, for them I am the swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. Yes, without deviation. So, 100% you are fixing, no deviation, no bogusness, no nonsense. Then Krishna says, I will come and deliver you. You see? Can you see my background? Yes, Can you see my background picture? Can you see Krishna is pulling me? Pulling my shika? This is the meaning of shloka. Swift deliverer from the ocean of birth and death. This is how Krishna come and deliver. He will come directly from his uh, Garuda, Garuda Vahana, and he will pull the shika up. is how he liberate you from the ocean of birth and death you can see ocean down there is ocean so we all are suffering this ocean repeated birth and death huh? so hmm? is how krishna saves you krishna is promising you this is the picture Re- reflecting text 6 to 7 okay okay next continue prabhu just fix your mind upon me the supreme personality of god hey and engage all your intelligence in me thus you will live in me always without a doubt yeah we have seen this how when you fixed your mind on krishna and engage all the intelligence buddhi mana and buddhi so krishna says you will live in me basically you are engaging face to face personally with the lord in this level so this is the topmost level so this is the highest platform of bhakti which is called prema bhakti okay in the platform of bhava and prema so bhava means is also the most advanced level where the love is already you know your heart is already softened you know you can reciprocate with the lord you know you are, you, you are fulled you don't have any you know your your anarthas your all the unwanted things are gone almost almost nil almost nil right then when you come to the highest stage prema then yes so this is the highest level actually prema bhakti so when you fixed because very simple can you fix the, your mind on krishna maybe one hour even one hour also we cannot come to bhagavad gita even daily we cannot fix then how are you going to fix your mind on krishna because you have some other priorities priorities matter for for us krishna is not important krishna is just a side dish pickle not the main <laughs> so this is our problem so krishna must be become your main so this is priorities so when our desire our all other things are becoming the priorities and krishna consciousness is just a weekend habitual thing there is also a problem because you must practice krishna consciousness daily at home at your at your place where you are living so this is this is the most advanced stage krishna is telling you okay so you see we can see now how krishna is very merciful krishna is accommodating everyone krishna knows everyone different level 
Krishna knows everyone is not on the highest level because there are many Jeevatmas in a different, different level. Correct or not? So, our gradation could be He is giving a very nice gradation. Okay, please take the next one. My dear Arjuna, O oh winner of wealth, if you cannot fix your mind upon me without deviation, then follow the regulative principles of Bhakti Yoga. In this way, develop a desire to attain me. Yeah. Okay. So, you see, okay. now uh, Krishna is telling here, if you cannot fix your mind, cannot fix your mind, Krishna has asked to fix your mind, but if you cannot fix your mind, then what you can do? Follow the regulative principle. Okay. So, what is regulative principle? Uh, this is where you must understand bhakti. Bhakti can be categorized into sadhana bhakti. The first is sadhana bhakti. Sadhana means practice. There is rules and regulation. Okay. Prabhu, you must follow the four regulative principle. No meat eating, no illicit sex. Huh? So, no intoxication, no gambling. Prabhuji, you must chant. You must, uh, 16 hours must be completed. You must wake up in the morning. You must uh, hear to Srila Prabhupada lecture daily. You must go to the temple program. You must assist to devote the rules and regulation. This is the beginning. First, you must practice yourself. Hmm? Just like a lawyer, when, when they graduate, they practice. Just like a doctor, they practice housemanship. Very suffering, very torturing. But somehow you are, you are disciplined. This is sadhana bhakti. Okay. So, sadhana bhakti, under the sadhana bhakti, there is vaidhi sadhana. Vaidhi means follow the rules and regulation. <laughs> so, when you follow this, what happens? It purifies yourself. It softens your heart. Huh? Mahaprabhu says, cheta darpana marjanam. It cleans. It cleans your heart. Then, what happens? Naturally, you will become a good doctor. When you practice, then you know already. This is easy. When you become a lawyer, initially you suffer. After, after you practice it for some years, you are becoming easy. You know easily things. You can, you can know things. Same thing. So, when you follow the regulative principle sincerely, under the instruction of spiritual master, you know, then what happened? Then naturally things will come to you. Natural attraction to Krishna will come. Natural. No one will force you. Prabhu, please, Vanga Prabhu. Class, okay, temple, Vanga Prabhu. Parachara, Pandanga Prabhu. No one will force you. Naturally will come. This is, this is the next stage after the rules and regulation. Then you come to Raganuga under the sadhana bhakti. First is Vaidhi sadhana, rules and regulation. Vaidhi, Vaidhi means vidhi, rules and regulation. Then at you, as you progress, the next is Raganuga. Raganuga means spontaneous love. There is no need to, no, there is no one and you know, uh, you know, no one need to force you. You know, you are naturally, come, let's go to the temple. Come, let's listen to Bhagavad Gita. Come, let's go and read Bhagavad Gita. Come, let's go and preach. Oh, I have a lot of doubts. I want to, you know, ask Prabhuji, I want to clear it. You know, my, you know, 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 they try to convince their friends, they try to convince their family, they are trying to convince everyone around them. They are preachers. They are very convinced. They are Raganuga. They are, Raganuga is also already quite you know, at one stage. Raganuga is spontaneous. Then at Raganuga matches. At Raganuga matured. Uh, and all your anarthas are majority of them are gone. All the unwanted things are gone. Then what happened? Then you will come to the platform of Bhava. Emotion. Okay, then you come to the, after the emotion match it, then you come to the prema. This is not love. Eh? So, bhakti na love and sulte, ana number regulative follow up anama love love and namudi ade. So, this is not the analytical understanding. Uh, so, abrina prabhu, does it mean when someone okay someone may ask a question does it mean when someone is on the platform of raganuga or bhava or prema they can ignore the principles of regulative no in fact it should be more perfect on your regulative principles you can see Prabhupada. he is actually a p 
pure devotee. Okay, but what he what proper set example? He chants sixteen rounds. He wake up in the morning. He doesn't portray his his you know even he doesn't portray when he got choked by by singing uh, Jaya Radha Madhava when he, he when he utter the word Radha he got choked. This is the level of prema. You know, when you say the name of Krishna, you 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 cannot utter. You will be tearing. You know what I mean. So this is a level like we can see in Chaitanya, uh, Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Whenever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, hear about Krishna, or Krishna's pastime, he will will he will faint because the body cannot take it. He can't. He is so in ecstasy. So this is the symptoms. So Prabhupada is a pure devotee. But he maintained all the rules and regulations. He followed everything perfectly. He set the example. So the more you advance, the more you will follow the sadhana. This is the key. Remember. Okay. So if you cannot fix your mind upon me, what do you do? You practice first. Practice the regulative principle of bhakti. So remember now, the verse number 5, uh, verse number 8 is what? It's actually a level of prema bhakti. Bhavan prema. And you come to the verse number 9. This is where sadhana, sadhana bhakti. Okay. Then now, you see now, we are in this sloka right now. So please read Prabhupada, the translation. <laughs> If you cannot practice the regulation of Bhakti Yoga, then just try to work for me. Because by working for me, you will come to the perfect stage. You see how Krishna is merciful. He is accommodating everyone. Because not everyone can fix their mind. Not everyone can engage in Krishna consciousness 24 hours. So we are on a different level. So dear Krishna advises to do sadhana bhakti, regulative principles of bhakti. So, Krishna is saying, Chari, if you can't do anything, this is the recommendation. Okay? That is what we are looking right now. You see how Krishna is recommending? Step by step. Like how he is teaching a child. You know? So, the next step is what Krishna is telling. Even if you cannot do that, okay, at least, what do you do? You, very important word. Huh? Try to work for me. This is karma yoga. Mat karma paramo bhava. Mat artam api karmani. By working for me. So what is the meaning working for Krishna? Hmm? What is the meaning working for Krishna? So working for Krishna means. So you see we are already engaging in a sort of work. Agree? Everyone in this Zoom live right now. Okay, you are engaging in some kinds of activity. Okay, example, Hareshwaran Prabhu. What is your activity? Usually daily activity, you will attend class. Classes. You will listen to lecture. You are cultivating this uh, material knowledge. Okay, correct? So, there are also uh, some Prabhus of Matajis. They will be uh, going to work. 8 to 5 work. Correct? Activity. Other karma. Karma means action, activity. So, Krishna is telling here that so, what you do is that you put me in the center. That means you do the work, but not for your benefit, but you give me the fruit, you give me the result. That means if people are working, you work for Krishna, you give the result. What is the result of your working? Every month you get what? What do you get every month? Salary. That is the result of your working, right? Everyone bank account will muscle. Do it. So you that do it, you give to Krishna. That's what Prabhupada meant here. That's what Krishna meant here. So at least you are contrib contributing, eh? contributing. Hmm? You're donating. You're contributing some amount to Krishna. For what? For temple buildings, for book distribution, for preaching. We need money. In an organization, we need money. Right? To preach. So you can do that. When you do that, it is karma yoga. You are, act, you are actually engaging your activity in Krishna. But of course, not entirely. 
this is not the highest understanding, this is not the highest level. But Krishna is telling, for, for those who cannot follow, when you do this, what will happen? You will be purified, you know. Slowly you will come to the next level, which is what? Sadhana Bhakti. This is the intention of Krishna. If you are in the level, what do you do? Sir, if you are in the class, you are in the form 1, you cannot go form 1. So, what do you do? Sir, if you are in the form 1, you are in the form 1 class. If you are in the form 1, what is the goal of the form 1 class? So that we can go to the form 1. That is the meaning here. So it's not that you stay in Pumulian forever. No, 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 no. You're getting it. So Krishna is telling, at least when you try to work for me, uh, you try to, uh, you know, uh, give your uh, uh, fruit of work to Krishna, then slowly you will associate with devotees, you will come in touch with devotees, you will get the association, and sometimes the devotee will preach to you, sometimes the donors will invite to temple, you know, I'm giving examples. So in this way, sometimes they will invite to the function, even Krishna Janmashtami, Rama Navami. In this way, he will get connected. In this way, he will the mercy will be coming to him because he is working for Krishna. So we have many devotees like that. You know, he you know he will just help the temple by providing certain uh, you know providing transport, providing free decoration, and somehow later they will become devotee because anything work in Krishna consciousness is not in vain. Krishna will definitely give you the mercy. Swalpam apiasi dharmasya trayate mahato bayat. What is the meaning? Krishna says swalpa. Krishna will give you the mercy of Krishna. One of the mercy of Krishna is swalpa. Sanja kuda trayate mahato bayat will save you from the greatest danger. Sir, Krishna is the Bhagavad Gita in chapter 2. स्वाल्प अप्पियस्य धर्मस्य त्रायते महातो बयाद सो डो नॉट वरी डो नॉट फियर इवन इफ यू डू लिटिल थिंग फ्रॉम फॉर मी कृष्णा सेस आई विल रिमेम्बर आई विल सेव यू फ्रॉम द ग्रेटेस्ट डेंजर दिस इज़ द प्रॉमिस कृष्णा इस गिविंग ओके सो दिस इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ़ वर्किंग फॉर कृष्णा सो लाइक दैट स uh, you know, there's one person who donated the whole land for constructing his own temple. But he's not devotee. But he gives land. So this is this is actually Karma Yoga. You know. So in somehow you will come to Krishna, right? So the only difference is one in materialism works for sense gratification, and the same work can be performed for the satisfaction of Krishna. So our goal is to satisfy Krishna. And the Maributti Varnam like in the Maributti, Krishna wa nama sandhusa padatthu no. We must satisfy Krishna, not satisfy ourselves. So that is why we offer, whatever we eat, we shall offer to Krishna. Patram pushpam palam toyam yome bhaktaya prayachati. Yedhi namba sanyalo namba bhagavanakki madha kudukkurom. Because we want to satisfy who? Krishna. So, Krishna kumandhu chocolate pudigadhu na, namba chocolate eh? Offer mana kuda ada, rating lah. Anak, illa pa, yang aku coklat puni kau, adunala na coklat cake senji, parawala pa, ada Krishna, ada orang peracunan mana ada, engke engke guru mara cerita engke adunala peracunan lain cerita, eh, nama adunama re offer pernah, soal re example cerita, ni mana iri ke? Apa na, we are trying to please our senses, our sense gratification, our tang, adunala mande seperti pa, so. No, that's not the point, saying la. So, if one has sufficient money, he can help in building an office or temple for propagating Krishna consciousness. And the Mari, a temple building, you can help with publication. There are many various fields are there. Okay. Even Prabhupada is telling, even if you cannot do full, you can, uh, some percentage you can do. So, this voluntary service to the cause of Krishna consciousness will help one to rise to the highest state of love and one become perfect. Remember, by doing this karma yoga, you will become purified and you will be progressing into the regulative bhakti, sadhana bhakti. And by following sadhana bhakti, you will progress into raga bhakti, spontaneous love. 
and by by continuously doing this and you will attain bhava and prema and despite you see the important point is even if you are on the level of prema or bhava the other things is automatically inside them that means when you are perf- you are on the level of bhava means you still working for krishna isn't it when you are doing devotional service you are working for krishna isn't it it is already there it is already on the included so basically puridhingla is a subset the karma yoga is just a subset of the bhakti bhakti is a whole set so adala vande ellame ninga bhakti seiyumbodhu ellame varudhu working for krishna knowledge about krishna meditating about krishna ella yoga um varudhu karma yoga jnana yoga dhyana yoga ellame included are the bhakti la because we are doing everything for krishna so that is why it is topmost so it might look simple ninga enna da chumma aadikitte hari krishna pannikittu irukkaneengale nu but that behind that there are many important things many philosophical understanding right so whatever favorable to bhakti we have to <laughs> exactly krishna is telling to take baby steps first if you think bhakti is hard okay very important point very important point here prabhu ji but krishna doesn't recommend going to this slow and indirect process you will see later what is the best method you take up the bhakti and you progress because you got no time puridhingla this is really for people who can't then we should follow you know so this first of all you see the the sequence is first animal people are on the level of animals they got no rules and regulation they are animalistic <laughs> சரிங்களா என்ன வேணாலும் சாப்பிடுவானுங்க என்ன வேணாலும் செய்வானுங்க அவனுங்களுக்கு ரூல்ஸ் இல்லை ஐ எம் த பாஸ் ஐ எம் த கிங் மை லைஃப் மை ரூல்ஸ் மை லைஃப் மை ரூல்ஸ் அட்டிஸ்டிக் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் யோலோ யூ ஓன்லி லீவ் ஒன்ஸ் அதான் அனிமலிஸ்டிக் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் ஸோ அனிமலிஸ்டிக் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங்கில் இருந்து யூ ஆக்சுவலி ரேஸ் டு வட் ஸோ யூ கேம் டு த கர்ம காண்டா கர்ம காண்டா மீன்ஸ் யூ டூ அ ரெகுலேட்டிவ் சென்ஸ் கிரேட்டிஃபிகேஷன் அப்படின்னா ரெகுலேட்டிவ் சென்ஸ் கிரேட்டிஃபிகேஷன்னா சரி நான் நான் வந்து இந்த மாதத்தில் ஃபாஸ்டிங் பண்ணுறேன் வெஜிடேரியனாக இருப்பேன் அப்புறம் சில மாதத்தில் அம்மாவாசை அன்றைக்கி ஆ கோழி வெட்டி ஆடு வெட்டி அம்மனுக்கு படைச்சிட்டு முடியாமல் சாப்பிட்ணும் ஏன்னா கண்ட்ரோல் பண்ண முடியல அந்த மாதிரி இருக்குது அப்புறம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அதான் ரெகுலேட்டட் சென்ஸ் கண்ட்ரோல் அப்புறம் எனக்கு இது வேணும் அது வேணும்னு சொல்லும்போது காசு வேணுமாப்பா சரி நீ என்ன பண்ணு இந்த இந்த மாதிரி வர்ஷிப் பண்ணுங்க இந்த மாதிரி ரிச்சுவல் செய்யுங்க இந்த இவரை போய் பாருங்க இந்திர பகவானை வர்ஷிப் பண்ணுங்க இல்லை இந்திரன் பகவானா இந்த இந்திரன் லார்ட் இந்திரா லார்ட் இந்திரா பா பகவான் இஸ் ஓன்லி கிருஷ்ணா பகவான் ஸோ லார்ட் இந்திரா ஓ யூ கேன் வர்ஷிப் யூனோ குபேரா இல்லை லக்ஷ்மி 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 பூஜைக்கு மட்டும் ஆள் கூட வந்துடும் நீங்கள் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நவராத்திரிக்கு நவராத்திரிக்கு வந்து ஒம்பது நாள் பூஜை இருக்கும் சரஸ்வதி பூஜைக்கு லக்ஷ்மி பூஜைக்கு கூ கூட்டம் வந்துடும் ஆமாங்க இல்லையா ஏன்னா லக்ஷ்மி பூஜைனா என்ன வந்து லக்ஷ்மி என்ன கொடுப்பாங்க காசு கொடுப்பாங்கன்னு ஸோ அதுதான் அதுதான் வந்து கர்மகாண்டா இதுதான் பிரச்சனை நம்ம வந்து லக்ஷ்மி வேணும் ஆனால் கிருஷ்ணா வேணாம் அப்போ லக்ஷ்மி இருக்க மாட்டாங்க ஏன்னா லக்ஷ்மி எப்பயுமே யாரு யார் யார்கிட்ட இருப்பாங்க யாரோட காலடியில் இருப்பாங்க யார் காலடியில் இருப்பாங்க லக்ஷ்மி லக்ஷ்மி தேவி கிருஷ்ணாவுடைய காலடியில் இருப்பாங்க என்ன செஞ்சிட்டு இருப்பாங்க லக்ஷ்மி தேவி வில் பி ஏன்னா காலாமிக்கிட்டு இருப்பாங்க ஸோ வென் யூ ட்ரை டு என்ஜாய் லக்ஷ்மி தேவி விதவுட் கிருஷ்ணா யூஆர் கோன் இன்னும் அடைய மீன் ஸோ யூ மஸ்ட் வர்ஷிப் கிருஷ்ணா சர்வ காரண காரணம் ஆனாலும் பீப்புள் வில் டூ தேட் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி இதுதான் கர்ம காண்டம் ஸோ ரெகுலேட்டட் சென்ஸ் சர்டிஃபிகேஷன் ஸோ லக்ஷ்மி இஸ் சஞ்சலா ஹி ஷி டசன்ட் ஸ்டே இன் ஒன் பிளேஸ் you when you worship that's why the money doesn't stay in one place one day will be this person will be rich next the rich will gone chanchala this is the nature of lakshmi but when you worship krishna lakshmi will run behind you point is lakshmi devi will always run behind krishna and you are worshiping krishna so this is the key robert says when you worship krishna you know you are pouring the water into the root so now from the animal then you come to the karma kanda then you got to worship rituals then the next step this is a step by step i'm speaking then what is that 
next slowly come to the understanding of pious activity you know do donation charity sponsoring anadha pillingalukku saapadu kudukirathu annadhana pandrathu sponsor pandrathu ngo ellarkum vegetarian fees kudukirathu you know this ngo la irukanga remember not uh, this all charity this is all actually coming because they are not you see the understanding is that they are not bothered about their personal self now they are trying to do something for the other people but even shimal shila proper say that is extended self gratification by doing all this philanthropic activity is also sense gratification but of course there is a staging and then you come into what and then slowly you come into uh, knowledge knowledge means first you get the atma jnana ah you heard about bhagavad gita you cultivate the knowledge so that is a first beginning this is the platform where you come to real knowledge atma jnana that is the knowledge getting knowledge then you progress so that is where you come into what karma yoga doing the work for krishna prabhu you can donate something okay then you coming then slowly you develop into sadhana bhakti then you go into slowly like that right so this is a step by step you know as actually there are many things out there like you know uh, some is stuck in the yoga some is stuck in the madhavadi philosophy some is stuck in the philanthropic activity purindhingala indha mari ang maatikuvaanga so adha prabhu na solren the point here is you cannot be taking baby step baby step until you know in we got time of course krishna recommend here that just surrender adanalada 1866 na you know, solrare சர்வதர்மான் பரிதியஜா மாமேகம் சரணம் ரஜா சர்வதர்மான் இதெல்லாம் தூக்கி போடு இந்த நான் சென்ஸ்லாம் தூக்கி போடு இந்த 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 ஸ்டெப் பை ஸ்டெப் ஸ்டெப் பை ஸ்டெப்லாம் தூக்கி போட்டு எல்லா தர்மமும் விச் இஸ் நாட் ஃபேவரபிள் டு மீ தூக்கி போட்டு என்ன பண்ணு என்ன சரணம் பண்ணு வாட் எவர் ஃபேவரபிள் டு கிருஷ்ணா கொஞ்சம் யூ டேக் அப் தேன் யூ டூ எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் ஃப்ரம் சாதனா பக்தி யூ வில் கம் ஸோ தேர் இஸ் அ கிரேட் ஸ்டார்ட் வே ஸ்டார்டிங் ஃப்ரம் சாதனா that is a perfect start but in order to understand sadhana bhakti ungalku enna irukano you must have no let's philosophy adha avara paapom krishna pesuvare adutha verse la how philosophy is so important seringala so ipo namba it is very important point actually njan solunga ipo neenga temple ku poringa prabhu ji so modala namba enna enna padano philosophy da modha kudukano pudhu aalungala vanda enna sonna when new people are coming we should give philosophy the problem is you know generally speaking we are not giving the philosophy we are immediately jumping into prema and bhava oh krishna apdi pannare krishna apdi pannare you know how can the new beginner can understand all this leelas without the basic fundamental knowledge of philosophy tattva first of all atma jnana must be given first of all you must given the knowledge of supreme personality of god in krishna the supremacy of krishna how krishna is god how shastra is perfect this must be given then you can speak about leela then you will have nice taste to hear about leela otherwise you think what it error krishna apdi pannaru pa baby andar pa cute andar pa then you will have some sentiment superficial sentiment we don't want superficial sentiment we want real love real sentiment coming from our deep of our heart bottom of our heart that is what we want we want sentiment but first you must awaken the sentiment how to awaken the sentiment philosophy will do that of course you know sometimes people are naturally attracted to krishna you know because bhakti is not dependent on anything bhakti is independent remember that also but of course whatever favorable to krishna consciousness that must be cultivated in our conditioned state we need these things otherwise you will be actively in krishna consciousness when you are associating with devotees but the moment you go to different places where there is no devotees no temple what you will do you will become like atheistic you will become like whoever you are associating with this happened right you got no stand you got no principles because you don't understand the basic philosophy so what you will do 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I am. I used to go to Iskon Temple. Yeah, yeah. I know Iskons. Yeah, yeah. You will be proud. I know Iskon. You know Iskon. I know them. I used to go from for for ten years, twenty years, thirty years. But what is the basic philosophy? You don't know. So you only be used to go. But you cannot go back to Krishna because you are not there. You are not practicing it as Guru Guru Shadhan Shastra. Puri Dhanla Prabhu is very important. So that's another thing. The knowledge under the model level, the tattva. அப்புறம்தான் நம்ம வந்து லீலங்களை பற்றி பேச முடியும் அதனால தான் பகவத் கீதை எப்படி ஆரம்பிக்குது ஹவ் பகவத் கீதா இஸ் பிகினிங் சாப்டர் டூ ஆத்ம ஞானம் ஃபிலோசபி பகவத் கீதா முடிச்சுட்டு தான் பாகவதம் அதுவும் பாகவதம் எப்படி ஆரம்பிக்குது பாகவதம் ஆல்சோ இஸ் டேக்லிங் ஆல் த ஃபிலோசபிஸ் தேன் யூ கோ டு தாஸ் டைம்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் மஸ்ட் பி திஸ் மஸ்ட் பி அண்டர்ஸ்ட் ஓகே ஸோ யா ஐ திங்க் வி கேன் வி கேன் stop here it's already 8:40 so the take away message today from the shloka 12.10 is what is the take away so first we have seen what is the definition of bhakti as per rupa goswami remember that anya bilashita shunyam jnana karmaadi anavartam jnana karmaadi anavartam then anukulyena krishna anusilanam bhakti rutamam remember that and we have seen the different A different approach to attain the highest level of bhakti how step by step approach but we don't want to be there you know just like so that means uh, we take baby step that is correct but not for everyone that is for really people who really cannot at all uh, so the what is the recommended process you must take the express go to sadhana bhakti and begin remember that prabhu okay so that is very important you don't want to be you know Uh, taking pomulehan and then you coming you must straight okay that is understanding and bhakti is not cheap okay remember bhakti is not cheap okay so you understand krishna huh? philosophically tattva that is important don't think krishna is a cheap person don't think bhakti is cheap don't think it is something like you know there is there is, there is people because why i am telling this because there is people even there is a cult known as sahajiha if you go to vrindavan these people they will imitate the gopis you know they will imitate the gopis and, and you know they will wear an attire of gopis they will try to imitate the gopis but they don't follow any rules and regulation they don't follow the principles they are people who even imitate the you know they imitate krishna you know the, they they follow the gopas something like that they imitate so what that is called saha sahajiya right sahajiya means what saja saja you know the malay word saja saja chuma saja saja va irupanga avanga that means it very sahaj like very easy <laughs> yes yeah adha da yes correct bro saja is very easy cheap so adha in the malay word in the malay word is saja also saja means easy huh? so there yeah, are people like that so they do, they they will immediately speak about the uh, uh personal intimate past times of radha and krishna we are not in that level you know the conjugal love of radha and krishna they will speak openly but they don't speak the sattva they don't speak the basics so all these thing are dangerous so be careful also there are lot of deviations out there uh lot of deviations out there so that is why we must read shila propat books we must follow the instruction of guru shadhan shastra then you can attain siddhi siddhi means the perfection in bhakti okay so uh, that's all so i will end here okay i'm opening for q and a session so is there any questions doubt anything you're not clear okay so please ask okay so always if you have doubt you should ask okay otherwise it will kill you it will destroy you so any hare questions krishna. hare krishna prabhu yes hare krishna prabhu so i'm sorry that i'm late i uh, when i get into this uh, live i saw that you were talking about those um, kirtanas and those you know right a guru mara says the same thing uh, in last last uh, last uh, prabhat uh, like the appearance day of uh, bhakti vedas uh, shows that have to He says the Bhakti Vinod Shirdi Thakur wasn't even playing harmony, you know, very nice harmony because 
he knows when we play harmony, we want to you know make those things and melody and all. We spend a lot of time on this. So he he was against it. But anyway, Prabhupada has again just to you know attract the Westerners. Anyway, so I'm I'm saying, and also Guru Maharaj talk about those uh, the Kirtan Mela now is happening in all over the state. Oh my goodness, this is very energetic. You know, the girls, oh. the mothers, Prabhuji are dancing. Hey yes. Jagannath, hey, I don't know so many melodies are coming up and then just crying. Some people are on a bath, like a different level. Maybe they don't they're not even waking up in the morning at four at four thirty, but they went to Kirtan Mela and then they, they are in a different ecstasy. Like the, when you see the uh, like those body appearance, it feel like, like the Rupa Gosami, four or five Rupa Gosami is there. You know, the dancing with the Matajis and I don't know, it's like a club club dancing. And yesterday I also saw some videos on YouTube that like you know, I use YouTube just to see Guru Maharaj, like videos and all sometimes through. But but I also came across with some videos that they they are like one hand like going and out. I have no idea what they're doing, what they want to promote by this kirtan. This kirtan is really not cheap things. It's very energetic. But the way we are actually moving towards this kirtan mela and dancing matajis and Prabhuji is very near with two hands and all. I don't know what they want to do. Glorify Krishna, or glorify themselves, or just to regularly, you know, sense gratification by the name of Krishna by using the kirtan. I think this is a very big offense, and yes, it's, yes, it's, it's promoting a different way of different thing of kirtans. Actually, I didn't see Prabhupada used to have diff, like so many millions of melody, and you know, I really didn't see Prabhupada doing yes. like that, but. Yeah, Kali is really, but yeah, we have to be very careful about this. I don't know how you think. Yes, yes, correct, hundred percent. So this is the situation. So the key is we should read Srila Prabhupada books. What is the key? Uh, so we should try to follow what Srila Prabhupada says. What is the standards of Srila Prabhupada? Right, because Srila Prabhupada is our our instructing spiritual master. So his books are the basis. So, what is the purpose of Kirtan Mela? Is to glorify Krishna. So, there must be uh, uh, proper rules and regulation. Who, whom are allowed to sing? Uh, first of all, we are see. You know, since you bring up the issue, uh, so you can see people are having tattoos here and there with the hair and uh, like, you know, lots of hair. You know, and uh, wearing uh, the, yeah. So and and showing the muscles and playing this merdanga. So, what is this? What we are trying to display? Is this some uh, fashion shows? Uh, so this is very important. It's quite heavy, right? Uh, oh no, Prabhu. There are people who justify. Prabhu, we are we are blinking Krishna. We are we are trying to attract Krishna. No, you you. That's why hey, Rupa Goswami says, uh, if you perform bhakti not following Guru Shad and Shastra, you are causing a disturbance, no nuisance in the society. So it's a very important things which we many. Hmm, Many fail to understand this. Even many of our leaders are not stressing on this. You know. So, you know, suppose we shall teach the youngsters uh, what is the dharma, how to, what is the etiquette of being woman, what is the etiquette of man, how man and woman should not free mixing. Even in the temple, they should have a separate place. You know, even among youths especially. Uh, Prabhuji, among moods. They are not supposed to sit together. And... When we are listening, you know, I don't know. I've seen many places where uh, all the elder, elder devotees, all the senior devotees are sitting down the floor and listening Bhagavad Gita. But our energetic youths are sitting on the chair and listening to lectures. What is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm speaking, you know, I know many people can get it. So isn't it Prabhuji? Uh, supposed to listen, you must follow the Vedic Vedic way, you sit down, sit down and listen. So, and you have some separation, right? Or you join the, you know, so you know what I mean? So these things are there where these certain uh, standards are not been taught, right? So it's okay to pre mixing, it's okay to be do whatever you want, no etiquettes. So yeah, all these things, how Mataji should, you know, the etiquette of dancing, the, da the etiquette of, you know, presenting oneself, it's very important. These are all basics of Krishna consciousness. So that must be taught. This is tattva. This is philosophy. Not that immediately you jump into bhakti and you jump. No. So thank you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Very valid point. Very important point. Uh, you know, so we are...
you know of course you see we are not uh, you see we must understand the reason uh, we are discussing this is so that you know we can follow Srila Prabhupada's standard we are not uh, you know we are not condemning anyone or we are not criticizing anyone so we are we are giving a uh, inputs so these things must be done every one of you are youths you know youths are very powerful you know all of you are youth we can see here sankirtana mataji Venkatesh prabhu hareshwaran prabhu are youths you can make the changes you should you should question you should ask you know you should learn first so what is happening so what is our guideline our guideline is Srila Prabhupada books remember that always they are our center not not anyone else remember this so from whom you are learning when you feel that something is wrong something is against our shastra then you should question so then our you know only our youths can change things otherwise i'm seeing a very dark future for us for all of us right so nowadays radha yatra and all these things are becoming like a festival of politics festival of simply man's attracting of man and woman so the men are dressing to attract women and women are dressing up to attract men not to attract jagannath so not to perform kirtan so all these things are heavy but we have to digest so, so many narottam das thakur and so many narottam das thakur has been producing every day you have <laughs> if you see the kirtan mela they have, i don't know how they can they get such a bab so maybe we can take we can take we can learn from all these things and we can try to improve we understand that we are preaching movement we are trying to attract newcomers but we must not dilute our philosophy you must always preach very nicely very tactfully and we attract everyone we give them the understanding as it is so yeah maybe Arish Farhan Prabhu can think about it you know how you know how you can cultivate can preach to others what is the impediments you face initially you can share your experiments you know, experience then you can try to you know discuss also it's very good you know, because you have experience in epo you have experience in kl you are everywhere so you can know how to preach what is the problems among our youths why they are not coming why they are wishy-washy why they are only coming certain weeks so this we have to tackle so this all these things we have to sit down and discuss so i think thank you prabhu thank you for giving these important points okay and yeah so ultimately our goal is to please uh, guru and krishna so yes any anything else any question from the audience anything else prabhu. Harish, prabhu? yes Solang, prabhu. Yes, i what is better there i mean there are a few students here so i'm going to what the basic it was all like uh we should be in bhakti we should not act in fruitive activities so we sec we give up our result to Krishna. So, if you are working, the salary, we, we allocate certain portion of the money to Krishna after minusing all the and then what the Kapurlu one next extra. Yes. But for students, yeah, uh, how can we see like sacrificing the result to Krishna? How can we? So, what you are studying right now, Prabhuji? What cost? Law. Law. So you can use you can use law and preach Krishna consciousness. You can use your knowledge and preach Krishna consciousness. Just like uh, Prabhuji is doing business, okay, it is working. Also, that's like some medical. I have no, I know a medical student. She was doing medicine, and same time she's using the medical knowledge to explain about soul, to explain how the medical science is is not very advanced in understanding the body, the soul, the mind, the intelligence. You know, so this is this is how. This is how you involve Krishna by any studies. So ultimately, you should use your knowledge to preaching. You can compare when you are speaking about law. You know the foremost law to mankind is what Manu Manu Smriti, Manu Smriti, Dharma Shastra Smriti, Manu Smriti. Have you heard about that? Yes, Prabhu. Uh, Yes. So, Manu Smriti is the basis for law for all humans. Actually, all our law right now, they have many things coming from Manu Smriti. So, maybe as a law student, you can look into that and you can try to preach based on that. Or you can try to take points and you see how our Shastra is very perfect. They are already giving such laws to women 
to these people, to these categories of uh, community or civilization, something. Uh, this is an example I'm giving. You know, so this is how you apply law. Uh, so and yeah, you can you can use your knowledge. You see, when you're speaking about law, there are many things you learn. So you can always integrate it with Krishna consciousness, and you can always preach useful in your preaching, right? Or you can also oh, use Getting mm, Manus Priti, I mean, I came across actually, I was uh, uh, this this term was discussed in the class previously. I was studying inter international humanitarian law, and they were mm. discussing about they told the Manus Priti when the law of wars, but now they mentioned Panir Panga, so Lir Panga, but now the Chakmani Pata, I mean, Manus Priti, when the Rumba, it has been. Interpreted in a wrong way. So, so, so is there any authentic version of Manushmiti that I can refer to? Yes, yes, there is. Of course, as you said, there are many books which is contaminated, many verses are gone, many are being uh, you know rewritten by the Westerners. So all these things are there, polluted. So yeah, they are they are authentic versions. Maybe I can share to you. I'll look into it. Okay. Well, I had I had one, I encountered one, but I have to check back. Okay, Prabhu, don't worry. So, I will share to you. So, like that, Prabhu, this is the example how a student can uh, actually, you know, with right now our situation, we can, uh, like you see, like what you did. Perfect. You know, you you actually organize, a, a, you, you know, a UKM uh, seminar on Bhagavad Gita. Remember? Yeah, that is how you cultivate. That means as a student, as a leader in a student community, you are using that power, you are using that material uh, position, material knowledge to organize a Krishna conscious event. That is Karma Yoga. That's a very good example of Karma Yoga. Right? When you are being a leader and when you are speaking something to your fellow students, juniors, you are speaking something on the Shastras. Karma Yoga. When you are teaching them by example, by right now you are following the regular principle, you are teaching them, that is Karma Yoga. So like that, Prabhuji, in every aspect, we can use Krishna consciousness. That is our nature, actually. Okay. So when you fix that, the fruits to Krishna, you give the result to Krishna, and everything will become perfect. You can achieve perfection. You will be get purified. Right? So, yes, hope that that makes sense, right? Hope that uh, you know, answers your yes, question. Yes, yes. So right. any, any other questions? Sankirtana Mataji, good. Vengresh Prabhu? Yes, Prabhu. Hi. Clear enough. Yeah, for students, yeah, you should study and utilize the knowledge to teach. You can teach your brother, you can teach your children about Krishna consciousness, about Bhagavad Gita. It's very important. You can also preach. So all this basic material knowledge is useful. Okay. So you have so many friends, you have so many classmates, you have so many, you know, contacts, you can do that for students, you know. I remember, you know, you know, I used to bring Bhagavadam to my school when I was standard, uh, standard 4, right. So I used to bring Bhagavadam because in those days, standard 4, I, I don't like to read the long, long purple. I don't read Bhagavadam. I only like to see the picture. So in the Bhagavadam, if you see there is a pictures, very beautiful pictures. So and the pictures what I like there's a like a pictures like a description of hellish, hellish planet. You know there's some uh, pictures where I describe, you know certain uh, planets. All these things are there. So what I do, I bring the Bhagavadam and I I show it to my friend. You see, ah, you're doing like this. You see, this is your destination. You know those days. I'm primary school. I don't know anything. So and in my friends they got interested. Hey, what is this? What is this picture? So they go through. We, we see, we read. I explain to him whatever I know. So you see, says, such thing as other, you know, the meat eating is actually harmful to you. You know, again, this is like my innocent day. My, you know, my, when I was really, I don't read books. I just see the pictures and like that. Just a wishy washy. Right. So we are just being vegetarian and just doing things. So those days, so even we did something. And ultimately, he, he borrowed the book and the mother read the book. And the mother actually came to temple. So somehow, you see, we do whatever we can, we do like that, right? Uh, so this is an example for students, I'm telling. First of all, we must set the example. 
you know when uh, i'm in a university we know university life my friends they are from varieties of background so some of them they will uh, uh, drink they will drink alcohol you know uh, indian na solla vena tamil na solla vena thanni adigal na tamil na kadaiyadu and the and the level ku nammude nalama mosamaachi india means they have to drink otherwise they are not indian they are not indian blood isn't it that's how our level is they have to they have to intoxicate themselves so you have to set the example when when you are krishna conscious when you are devotee you can associate with them no problem but by your association they will have to think not you become like them as a different when you associate with them they will become they must come to your quality not that you take their quality so that is why you must be very steady you must be very strong so the one i'm telling you is you know we, we even we sit together and my friends will be drinking uh, this uh, you know all these uh, liquors and i'll be drinking milk you know and we'll be speaking and they know whenever whenever they invite me for all these drinks they will prepare for me this milk this strawberry milk in in, in indonesia you know you know what i mean so this how you set the example at least they know okay this, this is not good at least meat eating they, they know we don't take meat you know at least one day they inquire hey why are you not taking meat huh? why are you not doing this huh? so then you can preach to them so always you must set the example first you must do the thing you must follow that thing right when you are in a class when you are in the university you are as a student you must always say, you must always wear your tilak right remember nowadays we as a student we are very shy to wear tilak correct or not we are thinking you know why people ena solvanga you see other people they are very proudly wearing their religious thing and we are ashamed of wearing krishna's feet and tulsi on our face on our forehead what is this this is the level of our bhakti so remember in another way is always wear tilak you know not only to your sunday program not only to your sunday program you know is actually wearing tilak is a is a anga of bhakti is a is anga of bhakti so when every day you wake up after you bath take your bath you should always keep tilak in front of your table dressing table you always have to wear the tilak not only one place 12 places 12 places okay prabhus and mataji maybe you can take sankalpa starting today you must be proud to wear krishna's feet in this way people ask hey how what is that you are wearing you know when you first time doing that people ask like that when first time i did that many people asked then after you do that for years they get used to it you know what they will ask you know when the tilak is not on your forehead they will ask hey why you never put the tilak they will question you <laughs> you know no you know i had you know at one point i my tilak was uh, you know my tilak was very thin so and you know some of my friend they ask hey why is why you thought sambayanga today why you didn't put tilak so they are that particular that i am not wearing tilak they are very worried so this is how we should set the standard so whenever we go to our classes whenever we attend anything we must be proud this is krishna's feet right so yeah whenever our important especially important days you should wear our graduation huh? graduation day you know that is you are you are actually uh, you know dedicating the result to krishna so these things must be there kanti mala must be there so if you want to wear kanti mala first you must follow the four regular principle okay okay many things are there so in this way a student can preach krishna consciousness there are many aspects we can do okay so is it clear prabhu all right so any anything else any question <laughs> okay so okay so if no questions we will uh, end uh, yeah like yeah vaishnavi mata ji is here so another example like vaishnavi mata ji she was in charge of student council in unimas so she is trying to bring in student for bhagavad gita classes she tried to arrange something tashila mata ji also you know all these mata ji are from unimas so like that we are telling this is karma yoga engaging in krishna consciousness for whatever your position is you engage yourself in krishna consciousness okay so thank you very much hari krishna वाचकलपतरोभ्यस्ता कृपा सिंधुभ्या पतिता पावेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः नम ग्रंद्रा श्रीमद
भगवद गीता की जय श्री प्रभुपाद की जय हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू एवरीवन हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू प्रभु थैंक यू प्रभु